What's up, YouTube? Shout out to the Amiable Soul Entertainment family, and welcome back to another video, video, video. Amiable Soul Entertainment. Yeah. Ay. Ay. Yeah. 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 ASC, yeah, you know you notice me. I'm bringing the crew all in. They be coming through to see that ASC, ASC. Come by with the family. Knowledgeable, radiant, and elevating. We were the ASC, ASC. My goal is to entertain, manifesting all my dreams. Might teach you a couple things. ASC, ASC. Right where you need to be, that ASC, ASC, ASC. What's up, y'all? Um, I have not been vlogging. I have not. I've been so focused on just other things right now that vlogging is not really what I want to do. I, I just haven't really felt like vlogging because it really hasn't been much content to vlog. I've just been chilling, like, working, doing what I do, and really just grinding, like, I've been having so many ideas and I'm more so in that brainstorming type of like, what am I trying to implement in 2024? So that's the type of vibe that I've been on. So that's why I really haven't um, picked up the camera. So <laughs> yep, I just ordered some Chipotle through Uber Eats. Shout out to Uber Eats, honey, because they've been coming through clutch. Um, but I just ordered some Uber Eats and it just got delivered. So I'm about to eat because I'm hungry. I just feel like I need to kind of like, I don't know. I, I kind of want to rest. Like I'm in between a phase of like, do I want to be productive or do I want to let my body get some sleep? But it's like, I really can't stand sleeping my time away because I could be using that time to like do something else and be productive because that's the hardest struggle of working a nine to five like when you work a nine to five i feel for me personally it can be very difficult to find that sense of work-life balance and so that's really what i'm struggling with it's like on my weekends i'm finally not working so i would rather put that time and energy and effort towards something that i actually like to do and want to do like youtube content or editing or um, just doing some more research for, you know, my entrepreneurship journey, because I do have a business that I am working on. So it's stuff like that, where I'm like, I don't feel like I have time to sleep. I don't feel like I have time to rest, even though resting is important. It's just so difficult when I feel like I could be using this time to do something that I enjoy. I could be using this time to do something that's going to elevate me so that when I am thriving and successful in the near future, I can look back and say, thank God that I put in the work because now I have all the free time that I want and desire. And that's what I'm manifesting. So it's like I try to look at it as a temporary sacrifice for long term fulfillment, short term sacrifice for long term loving life <laughs> you know the luxuries of just having the privilege to be able to wake up and start working whenever i want to work to wake up and travel to wake up and go to um whatever fancy restaurant i want to go to or whatever i want to do to wake up and go shopping wake up and just take a flight book a flight and be out of here that type of luxury so yes, yeah, short-term sacrificing for long-term luxuries. I just do the best that I can um, to balance right now in this current phase. And one day I'm gonna be able to look back with all of you and say, damn girl, you really did that. You really did that. <laughs> so this is my motivation, you know, I gotta just, do what I do and keep going. And I encourage you all to do the same. And we're all trying to become the best versions of ourselves. And sometimes that comes with putting the time, putting your hours in. And so keep going, y'all. Keep going. Keep staying consistent. 
even when you don't feel like it, even when you don't want to. And just see how that pays off for you in the future. <laughs> and here's my lovely Chipotle. You see, I have a burrito with some chips and salsa. Yes, yes, yes. I also have another burrito bowl in the bag, and that's going to be for later because right now I just want that burrito. But yeah, just about to get into some Chipotle, honey, and then see how the rest of the day goes. <laughs> What do we have today? What do, what do we, what do we have today? It's my Amazon package. <laughs> New bucket head alert. <laughs> As you can see, <laughs> I have a new hat, and this new hat has tremendously changed my energy a lot. Um, I don't know why, I cannot really explain why it's doing what it's doing for me right now. Just know that I really love this hat, and the energy is right, the energy is flowing, the energy is going. I'm very appreciative that this came in the mail today. Shout out to Amazon. Amazon be trying to run my pockets. Amazon trying to be selling all my money. Because <laughs> they know what they're doing. It's a wicked game out here. It's a wicked game. And Amazon done got me. I didn't think it was going to happen. But Amazon done got me. Damn. All right, so as y'all can see, I'm outside again. Um, today, I have had a stressful day. I'm gonna keep it 100. I've had a very stressful day. Um, I, write, I really have a headache right now, but I wanted to at least get some content this week. Um, I'm cooking dinner right now. I'm gonna bake some chicken again and probably just do some veggies. Um, I think that I've made the decision that I'm going to do Wild Wednesday videos every other week because I think I can make sure that I have my messages clear that way if I do it every other week instead of trying to push out a video for y'all every single week. I don't know. Um, but as of right now, I think I'm deciding that I'm going to do Wild Wednesdays every other week. Um, this week so far has been a pretty good week. Uh, despite you know the stress 
it's going by fairly quickly. Um, I'm just ready to get to the weekend at this point. It's really gonna be like one of my last weeks out here officially. So this weekend I'm gonna try to get a couple things done and I've done that. It's really just been a pretty chill, smooth, basic week. Just me stressing with work really and just trying to get through the week. Um, so hopefully I have more to show you guys this weekend. Um, but you know me, I'm just always going to make sure that I'm at least checking in with y'all. I hope you guys are doing well and stay tuned for the next part of the video. What's up YouTube? So currently right now I am in my um, zone with my business stuff. My CEO mode has been activated and i am just going over some of my information for my business um a lot of you may not even know that i am actually a ceo of my own company um i haven't been doing too much with it um but as of tomorrow my company will officially be three years old and so <laughs> I'm very happy about it. Um, I've been sitting with it for a very long time. I pay my taxes every single year. Um, it is an entertainment company. So um, I guess this is me letting you guys know that Amiable Soul Entertainment is an actual official business. Um, and it has been a business now for officially the last three years. <laughs> So I am excited to get some things rolling now that um, I'm hitting that three year mark. I really want to start getting some things established and really throwing myself into the game of entrepreneurship because I have a lot of things that I would like to get done this year. Um, I have a lot of goals. Hold on real quick because... I don't like the fact that my lips is looking a little dry. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. As you can see, <laughs> lips is popping again, okay? CarMax is your friend. CarMax is your friend. <laughs> uh, today we are using the winter green CarMax, okay? But anyways, yeah, like I was saying, I just, um, CEO mode is activated right now. Uh, CEO mode is fully activated right now. I am going back through my business email, um, just checking up on some things to see what's been coming through, um, getting my, uh, making sure everything is still situated with my business address. And so, yeah, I just wanted to come and tap in with y'all because I felt like, you know, since this is the Amiable Soul Entertainment channel, that I would at least give you guys some insight on what I'm doing as far as um, ASE goes. So I'm I'm handling business for the ASE company, okay? <laughs> doing what I got to do. Because one thing about it, this year, I'm not playing, okay? This year, I'm implementing a lot of new things that have not really been fully implemented in my um, younger 20s, okay? Your girl is entering her 29th and fine era. My birthday is April the 19th, so I am officially on my three-month countdown before my birthday. And so there's so many things that I would like to get done within the next 90 days um, before my birthday hits. Um, so I am just getting the ball rolling really um touching up on some things that i started a couple years ago and so um i look forward to bringing you all on this journey with me as i continue to do what i gotta do um, um but i'm gonna be in north carolina for a little while i will be flying back to north carolina um next week and so I will be getting some things planned and situated for me to get back out this way. Um, but for right now, I'm just, you know, taking it all in. Um, time has been flying. I've, I've been out here really heavy since October and I love it here. This has really become like 
a second home to me. So it's very bittersweet. Like I genuinely don't really want to go back to North Carolina. And so I'm so grateful and thankful that um, my cousin has allowed me to be here for this time. And um, it's so welcoming to me being here. It means the world to me. Um, so I'm just doing what I can to strive and thrive. And, you know, I like to push you all to do the same. And, um, I got a couple things that I really want to do while I'm in North Carolina. Um, I will be releasing a project this year and I'm putting it out there for the world to see because I filmed a video, um, the same year that I started Amiable Soul Entertainment. And I really had to look at that video and reflect and it created some triggers for me, some shadow work because I realized there were some things said within that video as far as stuff that I wanted to make sure that I was doing and I dropped the ball and all I can do is move forward and make sure that I'm getting things done. Um, I blame it on my life path. I'm gonna blame it on my life path. <laughs> blame it on life for one. Life be life in, but I'm gonna also blame it on my life path because being a life path 11 for anyone who knows and can relate, um, honey, things just come later in life. And I've had to learn to accept that. And it really didn't hit me. It never made sense to me until I started looking at other videos of people who are also Life Path 11s and or talking about the Life Path 11 and just how we unfortunately go through a lot of tough times in life. And we tend to enjoy the fruits of our labor later on in life. And I'm hoping and praying that, you know, this... 29th year my last year in my 20s that I'm creeping up on before I hit 30 <laughs> I am hoping that um this is the later on in life that they were talking about because I done been through hell and back in multiple ways in my life um this uh, month recently where it really just I guess you could say dawned on me how much of my life has been sacrificing um for my family sacrificing uh just to make sure that everyone else is good and i am still learning how to pour that love into myself and making sure that i'm learning how to put myself first because i got so used to putting everything and everyone else before myself majority of the time and so I'm finally at a point in life where I feel like I'm living life uh, for me more and more day by day. And building my business is a part of that journey for me. Um, doing what I have to do to better my life. Doing what I have to do to reach that sense of fulfillment and to be prosperous and get out of the day-to-day -day type of mindset and type of thinking that a lot of us tend to be in um I refuse for that to be my story and so 2024 is already off to a pretty great start for me and I just want to keep the ball rolling I just want to do bigger and better things I was just too like excited and I completely forgot to film um but um Marsha Ambrosius has a song called The Greatest. And on our social media, on our Instagram specifically, she was doing a challenge, um, an open verse challenge to her song. And y'all know me, I hop on a little open verse really quick. And so I hopped on. For those of you who don't know, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see um, I am a music artist. I know I don't share that side of myself that much on this channel but I am a singer songwriter. Um, and that is a huge, huge, tremendous part of my life. That is really the basis of amiable soul entertainment, because that is, um, the industry that I aspire to grow and develop in. So I'm more so making sure that things are good on the business side for me right now, but I am an artist. So follow me on IG 
at love kaniko that's l-o-v-e-k-a-i-n-i-c-o it'll be right here <laughs> but yeah uh she did an open verse challenge and i got on it and did my thing and felt like i did great and i remember um i actually did it last saturday and she had just um uh, posted about the challenge um the friday before i, I actually saw it and did my verse so i was like man i hope it's not too late or man i hope she sees it or i hope she does another freestyle friday and so i reposted it yesterday because yesterday was friday and i reposted it on my story and i was like i hope she sees this i didn't tag her um this time i tagged her the first time in the actual post but i didn't tag her in uh, my story when i reposted it and then I randomly decided to just check my Instagram last night and I saw Marsha and Roaches mention you in her story. And I was like, huh? And I was like, wait a minute. So I, <laughs> I went and of course looked at her story and there I was. She reposted my video and that was really exciting for me really really exciting because um she is such a talented woman and she has been a part of um the music industry for a very long time and a very vital part of our culture um and very inspirational to many women especially many r&b artists so that was a very great moment for me to see that she saw something that I did um, and liked it enough to repost it on her page and so well, on her story. And um, I checked it today and I had not seen anyone else that has been posted besides me and one other girl. Um, and so that was definitely a moment that I wanna hold on to because um, a lot of my friends know, but you guys that don't know me personally wouldn't know that that's not the first time that something like that has happened to me. Um, that's probably like the third time that that has happened um, to me. Um, the first time was a few years ago now, or maybe several years ago now at this point. Uh, where I did an, a challenge that Eric Bellinger had posted and uh, he saw it and reposted me on his page um, as one of the people he chose to just repost that was doing the challenge. Um, and that was a um, an amazing moment for me because uh, Eric Bellinger is literally one of my favorite singer-songwriters, period. Like there is a lot of songwriters in general that I'm inspired by, Eric Bellinger would be number one in the songwriting game as a as a singer and songwriter, entertainer, business person. Like I'm a I'm a huge fan of Eric Bellinger. And so that was a, a great moment for me. I'll never forget that. Um I've met him at this point too. Since then um and I might have to do a little story time on that at a different time because I don't want this video to be too lengthy. Um, but I have met Eric. Uh, well, I met him a couple times now. But yeah, that was the first one that happened. And then one day back in like 2020, I was singing a cover to um, Luke James. Oh God, what's the name of the song? I don't want it to slip my mind too much right now. Let me see. Uh... Traveling. It's called Traveling by Luke James. I was singing it. I had posted a quick cover of it on my Instagram and I tagged him in it, you know, just to give credit to the artist of the song. And I love Luke James. He is an amazing artist and performer, actor, everything. He just, is, he is everything. <laughs> and so randomly out of nowhere, I got that same type of notification luke james um mentioned you or something like that i don't know how exactly how it did it back um then but i saw that he had reposted me on his story and i was like yo 
That's crazy. That is crazy. And um, I was just so thankful. I was very thankful. Um, I don't know if I'm... I feel like I might have had one other thing like that. It might have been with Eric again, but I can't remember. But now that this has happened again for either the third or fourth time now, um, where I'm being acknowledged by uh, someone I would consider a celebrity <laughs> in the industry that I aspire to be in because I'm growing as a singer, songwriter, and artist. Um, I just take these moments as confirmation that I'm utilizing my gift in the right way and that there are people who who appreciate my voice um, and what I bring to the table and are willing to share that with um, their people on their platform. That is that is a blessing in itself. Um, and you know, I've had so many people that I even know in my personal life or different people that have supported me for many years now when it comes to my journey as an artist. And, um, I just have so much gratitude for anybody that has ever recognized me, recognized my talents. I'm very grateful and very appreciative and it just motivates me to keep going, to never give up and to continue to do more um and take it more serious um because there are people that are looking there are people that are watching and so you never know who's gonna see you and what you're doing so that's all the reason to never give up and never stop doing what you're doing because at the end of the day there's always going to be somebody supporting you it may not be the people you know it may not be the closest people to you a lot of the times it's people that you have no idea about that you've never even met that go harder for you than a lot of people that are in your personal circle and that's the sad truth about it but that is what it is there's not too many people in your close circle that will ride for you as hard as some people that don't even know you but appreciate you for the gifts that you share and the talent that you have and the energy that you bring. And so I just want to encourage you all to just keep doing what you're doing. Never be afraid to share your gift. Never be selfish with your gifts. Um, and don't get too caught up in being a perfectionist. And I know I'm, you know, slightly hypocrite when it comes to that because I can be a bit of a perfectionist myself, but I'm working through that and I'm learning to just um, put the content out. Just put the content out, um, sharing my video, sharing my voice. Um, It'll be more that I'm going to be sharing on this channel when it comes to my actual music journey, because that is one of the greatest parts that I aspire to bring to this channel. There's more that I would like to film to be able to share with you all when I'm actually back in North Carolina, where I have my full setup with my lighting and everything so that I can make sure that the production um, is A1 with the look that I'm going for, you know, working with what I have. But um, everything that I like to use that I want to incorporate within this channel for my quality is back in North Carolina until I officially make the move out here to Vegas. Um, so my bad to everybody that's been waiting for the next um, Ancestry DNA video or everything like that. Um, but it, I promise y'all it's coming. I'm just, you know, just wait till I get back home, okay? Just wait till I get back to North Carolina and I got you. <laughs> right now, just bear with me. Um, but yeah, like like I said, CEO mode is activated. Grind time is activated. 2020, 2024 is the year for you to make things happen. Get off your ass and make something shake, okay? Don't sit on your ass, shake it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But no, seriously, stay motivated, stay encouraged. Um, I hope this video inspires you all to continue on your journeys to do what you know you can do to utilize your talents, to share your gifts. Um, 
if you like content like this, then make sure that you um, subscribe to this channel. It is absolutely free. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can be a part of the Amiable Soul Entertainment family. We love to have you over here. We love to get into the good, good vibes and good energy on this channel. So if you like vibes like that, then make sure that you subscribe. Also, make sure that you hit that like button so that we can get videos like this surfacing within that algorithm and bringing more people that we can vibe with on this channel. Um, just get these numbers up. We are on the road to 200 subscribers, 222 to be exact is my next goal. So, um, Make sure that we run it up. Go ahead and hit that like button. And of course, if you want to stay updated with every time I post a new video, if you just want to see my lovely little face or hear my wonderful voice, then turn those post notifications on. <laughs> Make sure that you turn those post notifications on so that you can be alerted every time that I upload a new video. With that being said, I hope you all are enjoying your day, your night, your evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are. I hope that you stay blessed and stay tuned for the next video. <laughs> Take your time, love me, baby. I don't want to be afraid of loving you, babe. I know it all feels crazy. I just want to let you know. Cause I'm really here for the vibe Tell me you see what you like Hope that you feel not